feeling well hey there my lemon slices and welcome back to the lemonade stand or welcome if you are new my name is brianna i am a certified personal trainer a big huge biology nerd and a registered dietitian to b Today, we have a treat. Today, we have a deep dive into the product line of a very new and up and coming multi level marketing company called New Me. The story of how I even heard of this company is ridiculously hilarious, but mostly ridiculous. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Before we proceed, if you love science based health, wellness, and fitness education with some lols and some dry sarcasm along the way, hit that subscribe button and join the lemonade stand. We would sure love to have you here. Without further ado, Let's make lemonade. Okay, so first and foremost, you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a crown. <laughs> so I'm wearing a crown because June is my birthday month. There's a good chance I'll be wearing a crown for not all, but a lot of the videos that are going up this month because June is just a fantastic month. It's, it's my birthday month. I'll be 30 this month. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being 30, 40 and thriving. And then my t-shirt is, uh, this is just for pride. I like to try and like, kind of dress in like whatever, whatever is going on. I usually do like headgear. If you guys been following me for a long time, I usually will do like headgear for during like the holidays or Halloween or something like that. I didn't really know what I would do in terms of headgear for pride month. Um, so I ordered this t-shirt instead. I think it's really cute. I got it on Amazon and uh, yeah, I'll link it below. So June is a fabulous month, my birthday month, pride month. That's all I got. <laughs> Other stuff has happened in June, I'm sure. But you know, let, let's be realistic. My birthday is the most important thing, okay? Um, also, I have Starbucks and there's also some birthday cake Oreos here. So let's first establish some backstory with how I even heard of this MLM in the first place. It's kind of an interesting story. So I'm in a private Facebook group for uh, like, it's primarily breast augmentations, but also uh, like all cosmetic surgery in general. For those of you who don't know, I don't hide it. I've talked about it very openly before I've had a breast augmentation like Oh my God, how old are my boobs? 2017. Yeah, about five years ago, a little over five years ago. So yeah, um, so that's what brought me to the group. People will post like questions and like share experiences and you know, the good, bad and the ugly and then we'll post photos and just just stuff like that. And it's a it's generally a very positive community and very supportive. It's mostly breast augmentation stuff, but there's a lot, a lot of cosmetic surgery in general gets talked about there. A topic that's frequently brought up on the page is weight loss. Generally posts like that do stress me out because as soon as I see them, I know that the comment section is just going to inevitably get full of just keto, intermittent fasting. And then of course, people in MLMs shilling their crap, taking the opportunity of preying on somebody who is asking a genuine question and it may be even vulnerable about a certain spot in the part of their body like preying on that. On those posts, I occasionally will comment, but I normally just avoid it because, you know, reading the comments upsets me. And also there's like several thousand people in this group. So, you know, one comment and hundreds of comments, it sometimes gets lost. So I'll sometimes comment, but I usually, I usually just avoid it, honestly, and just kind of try and keep scrolling. So I don't know what compelled me to click on and scroll through this particular, this comment section of this post, but I did. Somebody made a post. I'm not going to show the post. So, you know, y'all are just gonna take my word for it. So Somebody was just posting a picture of like their body in a swimsuit and they were asking about, hey, how do I reduce cellulite? Just a really simple, straightforward thing. I just felt compelled to scroll through this comment section and lo and behold, this is the comment that I came to. I have an excellent product line to introduce you to. It's all natural and benefits your overall well being. It's a master antioxidant and a powerful premier peptide. The body spray also contains amino acids. It helps eliminate cellulite as glutathione main ingredient detox <laughs> detoxes toxins. <laughs> Cellulite is buildup of toxins within fatty tissue. Glutathione levels decrease after the age of 20 and continue decreasing more and more with each passing decade. Here's a link for a video to view. Let me know if you have questions or would like to order. And then they linked a video and they also linked their like their page because in case you haven't picked up on it, Numi is a multi-level marketing company. So obviously that was a pretty blatant and clear MLM marketing pitch, like a sales pitch, so much so that when I was first reading it in my head, I actually read it in like the cliched salesy announcer, <laughs> sales guy voice. So I almost never engage with dumb 
theory on Facebook. I'm so serious, you guys, almost never. But like I said, I just felt compelled to, to respond to this. I think largely because it made me angry. The OP asked for genuine advice and was looking for actual help. And this chick took the opportunity to shill her MLM and she had the audacity to drop her website link. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw I posted some of me in this person's exchange to my Instagram story. You might have seen it, but I actually did not share all of it to my Instagram story. So allow me to uh, finish reading it all now. I respond to that first comment and said, you shared a lot of misinformation here. The OP asked for genuine advice and you gave her a load of inaccurate information and a sales pitch. Cellulite is not caused by quote unquote toxins. It's caused by an increase in adipocytes pushing up against the skin, giving it a dimpled appearance. I respect a genuine hustle, but spreading blatant misinformation in regard to science and health to fulfill your own self-interest is just not okay. She responded and said, you are correct with regards to an increase in adipocytes. I did not state quote unquote caused within cellulite is toxic. <laughs> is toxins. And then I responded and said, okay, that is still scientifically inaccurate. Even if cellulite is related to toxin accumulation in any way, the best way to reduce cellulite is by a redu- Ooh, spelling error, my bad. Is by reducing overall body fat. A dietary supplement or magic cream is not necessary for that. The other information you shared is also inaccurate. For example, glutathione is an antioxidant which helps to reduce the presence of reactive oxygen species, ROS, and reduce free radical damage among cells. Also, the concept of using a supplement to detox one's body is pseudoscience. If you have a liver, kidney, and lungs, your body can detox fine on its own. Again, I respect a genuine hustle, but spreading misinformation to fulfill your own self-interest is just not okay. It only adds more confusion in the world of science and nutrition, which is not helpful. Best lemon. She responded, I'm not recommending a magic cream. I'm recommending an innovative glutathione supplement unlike any other. She, I don't understand why she keeps capitalizing glutathione. Like it's not like a proper noun or maybe I just haven't been in English class for a long time. It's not somebody's name. Is it somebody's name? Oh my God, maybe that's somebody's name in this MLM. <laughs> a glutathione supplement unlike any other. Yes, glutathione is a master antioxidant and also the premier peptide. Absorption provides efficacy, whereas ingestion does not in comparison be because of our strong stomach acids, breaking down the majority of the benefits. I speak truth. Okay. And then she uh, tagged a uh, YouTube video of this uh, Dr. Gordon Croz Crozier. Rosier? Dr. Gordon, I'm gonna call him Dr. Gordon, which I did watch the video uh, and we'll talk about it in a little bit. I responded, quote unquote, master antioxidant and quote unquote, premier peptide are marketing terms used by the MLM you distribute for to make their products sound fancy and exclusive. Those terms mean nothing in terms of science. Glutathione is a peptide that behaves as an antioxidant. It's not quote unquote premier and it's not quote unquote master. Furthermore, glutathione is naturally occurring in the human body. It's made within our cells and does not come into contact contact with stomach acid. The glutathione that is present in some of the foods we eat is not just excreted entirely after we eat it. Some oral glutathione supplements may influence natural levels. Please cite peer reviewed scientific research published within the last five years to support your claims. Until then, I will continue to assert that the supplements you are attempting to push are unnecessary and unhelpful. Again, spreading inaccurate information to promote products and fulfill your own self-interest is just wrong. I stand by my statements. And then I tag just an informational bit about glutathione on NIH posted at NIH.gov. That wasn't like a specific scientific study. It was just like information about like glutathione. So it wasn't like studying anything like that. And also full disclosure, I did go back and edit my final, final comment just to add a couple of more relevant facts, but there it is, that was our whole exchange. So from there, I fell into a rabbit hole for once I'm still trying to dig myself out of. New me, what is it? What do they sell? Come with me down the rabbit hole. Numi is a multi-level marketing company or MLM that was founded by a man named Stephen K. Scott. I tried to find some background on Stephen, but I found basically nothing except on his website where it says that he quote, flunked out of his first nine jobs right out of college. This language of flunk is weird to me. I wonder if that means that he got fired from them. <laughs> <laughs> but they just don't want to say that. So they're just saying flunk instead because it doesn't sound as bad as he got fired from nine jobs. That's a red flag, by the way. And then after this, he read a passage in the book of Proverbs and it apparently taught him 16 strategies that he applied to his life. 
Numi is referred to as his, quote, latest project. He says it's, quote, the biggest health breakthrough he's ever seen. People said that about Elizabeth Holmes' product too, just saying. Oh, and also one more fun, interesting little tidbit. If you scroll down a little bit further on his website, there's this picture of former President Donald Trump and apparently DT says that Steve Scott's insights are, quote, uncanny. This whole company is ridiculous in my opinion, but I just thought that that was, I just thought that that was interesting and funny. So yeah, and also one last thing, at the very top of his website, there's no sound to it, but there's a clip of this Steven Scott guy actually being interviewed by Larry King. So I don't know, he's famous kind of, but not really, but nobody knows who he is. I don't know. In case you haven't picked up on it, the name knew me is a play on words. It's supposed to be like knew me, but they spelled it like they're from outer space. So it's cute. Okay. According to their LinkedIn page, they are, quote, the glutathione company with a breakthrough nanotechnology delivery system called Hydrostat. This proprietary technology is unparalleled in utilizing the latest science to deliver one of the world's most fragile molecules into the cellular system. They later go on to say that they have, quote, already become one of the fastest growing network marketing companies, end quote. So according to their LinkedIn page, they were founded pretty recently in 2021 and are headquartered in Utah. Unsurprisingly, a lot of MLMs are. When I was doing research for this, I saw one source that said they were founded in 2014, but that source wasn't like from the actual company, it was just kind of from somebody who I assume is kind of like me, who was just kind of trying to do research on it. I'm gonna go with what the company actually has on their LinkedIn and just say they were founded in 2021. Something that's kind of funny is that they call themselves one of the fastest growing network marketing companies. If I found myself as somebody who wanted to join a multi-level marketing company for whatever reason, this would honestly probably, unfortunately, be the perfect time to join because it's brand spanking new. It's not a secret that in general, if you get into a multi-level marketing company or a pyramid scheme early, then you're more likely to see a profit or a decent profit, I should say. Also because of how new it is, if you were to search this company on like uh, on Instagram, like if you were to search the hashtag, it will not yield the same results as if you search an MLM that was more established, like, uh, like I don't know, Monate, Arbon, or something like that. Also, uh, I haven't, I realized I did not address this. This uh, balloon behind me, this is what's left of a, I did a photo shoot for my 30th birthday a couple weeks ago. I had the big 30 balloons and uh, the three popped as soon as I got home from the shoot. But I have the zero. Zero is still going strong. And I feel like, you know what? Damn it, I paid for this. I am keeping the zero. So this is my zero balloon. It's just been hanging out back there. This is not like a permanent fixture in the background of my videos. It's just there because I still have it, okay? So just so everybody knows, in, in case anyone was wondering what, um, this uh, half deflated scrotum was behind me. Anyway, Numi comes off to me as one of your like typical run of the mill health and wellness MLM, but something does strike me pretty funny about their products. It's not the typical like shakes and wraps and pills and things like that. Not what you'd expect to see of a multi-level marketing company that's like uh, all about like the health and the wellness and <laughs> things like that. On the shop page on their website, the only products I see are skincare products and a product called NutriSwish, which is 65 Five dollars for one bottle. This NutraSwish seems to be one of their biggest selling points and is the object of my curiosity today. So let's talk about it. Yes, my love. Babe, come here, you haven't made a cameo in a while. Why are you wearing your crown? Because this is going up in June, which is my birthday month. Oh yeah. We mean, oh yeah, like you didn't know. It's your boy. You. You smell good. You, okay, I was gonna say something about how you smell, but I was not going to use the word good. Oh. <laughs> you just went for a run. You smell good. Thank you. You going to the gym and then you're coming home? Yeah. Okay, give me a you kiss. So pretty. Stop. Oh, you wore your new shirt? Yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's my pride shirt. Bye. Bye. That was my husband, by the way, for those of you who aren't aware, the light of my life, my soul food. So anyway, remember on their LinkedIn page, they specifically call themselves the quote, glutathione company, end quote, claim to have a delivery system that's a quote, breakthrough nanotechnology delivery system, end quote, which they call Hydrostat. This is just a, a really quick sidebar. Um, I feel like <laughs> the founder of this company or like whoever like maybe is in charge of marketing, I feel like they just, thought of like the most sciencey sounding words that they could and then just put them all together to make it sound like they knew what they were doing. 
Like, doesn't that just sound so, like, science-y and, and just, like, impressive? Breakthrough nanotechnology delivery system. <laughs> It, it just sounds so like sciencey and fancy to me. So with this hydrostat system, they claim to deliver your body with glutathione using this nanotechnology. FYI, a nanometer is a unit of measurement. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter. That's really tiny. So nanotechnology is basically scientific engineering and technology that is performed at that scale, the nanoscale. So Numi claims that they have engineered glutathione so that it is on the nanoscale, which offers quote, superior absorption, end quote of glutathione. Remember when this was the best delivery method for supplements? Every industry evolves and improves with new breakthroughs in science and technology. Here at Numi, we've used a proprietary technology to solve an issue that's been around since nutritional supplementation began, the problem of absorption. Using our own proprietary Hydrostat Nano Delivery Breakthrough, we reduce the particle size of critical nutrients smaller than ever before. Glutathione is extremely fragile, and if taken orally, it will be destroyed via the digestive process, rendering it virtually useless to the body until now. NutraSwish applies nanotechnology to achieve maximum absorption. Now, glutathione and other nutrients can be absorbed simply and quickly by swishing in the mouth instead of being destroyed in the stomach. So this NutraSwish is basically mouthwash. <laughs> You swish it in your mouth for 30 seconds, and then I guess you swallow it, which sounds gross to me, and then bam, you're good on glutathione. <laughs> they cite no evidence that swishing it around in your mouth will result in it actually being absorbed through your, like through those mucous membranes in your mouth, through your cheeks. <laughs> this is serious, you guys. A mouthwash MLM. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Stop the presses, you guys. I don't know how I did not come across this while researching for this video, but I don't know, I guess I just didn't. I'm editing now, and by the time I sit down to edit a video, the bulk of my research is, is done, but I still like to continue to do some very light research kind of along the way as I'm editing. Um, so I found this study on NIH.gov. Now, it's a pilot study. A pilot study is a small scale study that typically precedes a larger scale research study. The purpose of a pilot study is generally to see if there's like even a potential of having something feasible to move on to larger scale studies. So keep that in mind. This is just a pilot study, but I feel that it would be wrong of me not to mention it. It is titled The Absorptive Effects of Orobuchal Non-Liposomal Nanosized Glutathione on Blood Glutathione Parameters in Healthy Individuals, a pilot study. And it's basically a study to observe the effects, if any, that nano-sized glutathione particles may have on the body when absorbed orobuchally, aka through the cheeks and the mouth. I read the study and they even say that part of the experimental method was to have participants hold the solution in their mouth for 90 seconds before swallowing the rest, which to me still sounds gross. <laughs> Just saying. The main purpose of the study was to determine if nano-sized glutathione could alter glutathione parameters in the human subjects, and if so, which ones. Now, in this study, they don't say that they're studying the effects of the stuff that Numi says. For example, Numi says that it helps improve like immunity, one of the things it says. That's not something that this study sets out to measure. This study concluded that nanoformulation absorption is effective for quickly raising glutathione levels in humans. In this study, they specifically use uh, 200 milligrams of uh, nano-sized glutathione uh, particles per milliliter of an almond oil-based solution and concluded that it was effective in, in raising glutathione levels in the healthy human participants. They also concluded that further research could focus on the efficacy of this delivery method for conditions associated with the glutathione deficiency. So this is all very interesting and I'm kind of kicking myself right now for not coming across this while researching for this video more. I need to research harder, you guys, I'm sorry, but better late than never, I guess. So even though this study is very small, it is recent, um, it was published in 2019, and it does confirm that the delivery method of mouthwash, I'm sorry, oral buccal, does work at least in the healthy human subjects that participated. Now remember this is a pilot study and it does conclude that more research is warranted to observe more effects at a larger scale. Further, it also does not support the claims that Numi makes about the oral buccal absorption of glutathione. This study is more observing like physiological effects. So if I were working at Numi, 
I feel like I would have added this study to the website. It does at least show evidence that the delivery method actually works, at least in the healthy subjects here. Now, that being said, even if they did cite this study as quote unquote evidence, I could still absolutely poke holes in it. First of all, again, this is a pilot study, very small scale. And the point of it is just to see, oh, do we even have anything here worth studying, worth researching? The study did not aim to observe the claims that Numi themselves makes. For example, Numi says that their product increases energy, supports immunity, and supports cognitive health. None of that was mentioned in this study. This is some evidence, but it is still a small piece of the puzzle. Puzzle. If a Numi rep showed this to me to quote unquote prove it worked, I would call it cherry picking. Again, I'm honestly surprised that no one at Numi even cited this. It would have been something in their favor at least, I feel like. Okay, so with this being a pilot study, I'm not sure I would have jumped in and made a whole supplement company based on this alone. I also obviously disagree with the multi-level marketing business model. This science appears to still very much be in its infancy and is still emerging. Because of that, I am still skeptical of this delivery method for the lay public, but I am comforted to see this, albeit small bit of research done into it. I ultimately still stand by my statements uh, that I will make in the video, but I felt that I kind of had the responsibility to share this with you. And also one more thing I wanted to say is, again, Numi is a multi-level marketing company and they have um, their income disclosure linked at the bottom of their website. And this is their income disclosure statement, <laughs> a one page PDF document that basically just says, refer to Numi's compensation plan and monthly promotional bonuses for complete details. The earnings of Numi members are 100% dependent upon his or her skills, work, effort, commitment, leadership, sale capabilities, and market conditions. Member sales and commissions results will vary. So I just, I mean, normally when you click on to find the income disclosure statement for an MLM, it's usually like, something like it shows a chart and the breakdown of like the names of the different ranks and things like that. I was just surprised to see this one document. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to add all that stuff in. Now back to regularly scheduled programming. <sighs> so they say on their website, quote, the problem with glutathione is how fragile it is, making it nearly impossible to absorb until now. <laughs> Now, thanks to their hydrostat, you can have increased glutathione levels every single day. So I guess at this point, we should have a little chat and we should talk about glutathione. So on Numi's website, they say, glutathione is the body's master antioxidant. It impacts nearly every function in your body. I'm chuckling because that's word for word what that chick said. Like it's obvious that she just took these buzzwords from their marketing and just kind of inserted it into her sales pitch, which is not surprising, but that's that's, it just gave me a chuckle. And then they go on to add that glutathione has over 165,000 studies and even linked PubMed, which I will say right off the bat was like, that was kind of impressive to me. PubMed is actually one of my go-to search engines for when I'm doing research for something. But upon closer inspection, I click it. They linked the PubMed search results page. <laughs> They didn't actually link any studies to back up the claims that they're making about their product. <laughs> They just linked the search results page. On PubMed, I even tried to search glutathione and like skin absorption. I actually did find a couple studies about glutathione and like um, skin whitening for certain conditions that cause hyperpigmentation. Full disclosure, I did not look super deep into these studies. I just thought that, that was interesting and just FYI. So as I mentioned already, glutathione is naturally occurring in our bodies. It is synthesized in the cytosol of eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. As humans, we are eukaryotic organisms because our cells have a membrane brain bound nucleus and organelles. So basically we have glutathione up the butt in our body. <laughs> it exists in a couple different forms, but we do have it. Glutathione is the most abundant antioxidant in the body. It has a few jobs, but one of its biggest jobs are probably that it manages our oxidative stress through preventing free radical damage to ourselves and helping to uh, reduce and eliminate ROS, reactive oxygen species. It's necessary and it's highly beneficial to us as humans to have that endogenous source of antioxidation. So I bet at this point you all are wondering what makes Numi so damn special? Why should I spend $65 on a bottle of glorified mouthwash that has nanoparticles of glutathione in it when I already have glutathione present in my body? Well, I don't know you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't have an answer for you because I have yet to find an answer for them as to why their product is superior to my body's own glutathione. All right, you know, we just had to take a short break for my camera to cool off. I had to eat an Oreo and then of course I had to uh, readjust my crown. We're back. So the thing that I find very interesting is that glutathione, like what it is as a substance, is not fake science. Glutathione is a real substance and it has real benefit in terms of our biology. But one, they have yet to cite any scientific research or evidence that supports their claims of it being absorbed through the mouth is somehow superior to uh, like my actual cellular glutathione that I already have in my body or better than like glutathione supplements because there is oral supplementation of glutathione available too. So like, why is Numi better than that? They've yet to cite any research indicating why it's better. And two, why do I even need to absorb it through my cheeks if I already have it in my body? I always say this, dietary supplements are not totally useless. There is an application to supplements. Certain populations really benefit from dietary supplements. Supplements are not totally useless. I know it seems like I crap on them a lot, but I'm really not crapping on them themselves. I'm more crapping on how they're constantly pushed by like fitness influencers and health gurus and people in MLMs and like saying that you need XYZ, you need all these supplements to be a healthy human because it's not true. Again, obviously there's a subset of the population, certain people who actually need and really benefit from certain dietary supplements. If those people usually have a medical condition, they're working with a healthcare professional. I hope they are if they can. But as far as just the regular average healthy human, like you and me, dietary supplements, are they totally necessary for us to achieve like health and be a healthy balanced human? I cast my vote for no. So one thing that we heard them say on their website and something that we read about it, they say that it's so fragile that it can't withstand the uh, digestion process. Okay. But generally we don't have to digest it though because it's already in our cells. So it doesn't have to go through the, the digestive tract. It's already made in our cells. <laughs> Furthermore, like I just mentioned, oral glutathione supplements have been observed across multiple studies over the years to be beneficial for certain conditions and maybe even increasing natural levels. So finally, that person in the comment exchange dropped this link to a YouTube video of somebody named Dr. Gordon. He's by the way, a fantastic dresser in my opinion. So he's a board certified OBGYN and works in integrative medicine. I watched the entire video and obviously for copyright reasons, I can't just let the whole video play. I'll link it below though. I did watch the whole video and I learned absolutely nothing about glutathione that I didn't already know. I watched it because I wanted to see if he was going to support any science to support the claims that Numi make, but he cited no studies. There's there's no uh, research or studies like linked in the description box. I looked and he really just mostly echoed the stuff that they already have written on their website. He said this method of delivery mouthwash is uh, awesome and fantabulous. Then he said that endurance athletes will benefit from it the best because they can swish it in their mouth every hour and it will help to maintain their energy levels through their events. <laughs> Why is this mouthwash that allegedly contains glutathione uh, molecules on the nano scale. Why is that better than like a Gatorade or even like pixie sticks or, or you know, that, um, that jelly stuff that marathon runners uh, usually uh, down, which is just, it's just sugar. It's energy, it's fuel for the body. Why is it better? Last thing I wanna mention too, is this girl in, a, in our original comment exchange, she tagged, like she dropped the link for that, uh, that video of Dr. Gordon. She added that link. My assumption was that Dr. Gordon was like maybe like a formulator for the company or uh, like he's worked very closely with the product production. And that's not the impression that I got from the video. The impression that I got from the video was actually that he's just a guy that has read about the product and he's like, oh, I like the product because X, Y, Z. He was just talking about it. Based on the video, it doesn't seem like he had anything to do with like the product development. So I don't even know why she even tagged that. He was just some guy talking about it. Let's get to my closing thoughts here. <laughs> so here is my take on the product line Numi, specifically talking about the NutraSwish supplements. There's protein supplements, there's vitamin C supplements. The B12 injection craze has been in full swing for a while now. I think Numi needed a gimmick and they needed to sound cool. I think when this Steven Scott guy or whatever, pretty sure, hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, I think when this Steven Scott guy was like, I'm gonna make an MLM, <laughs> I think when he decided to make an MLM and when they were thinking about what kind of product can we sell, the creators of this science, to which I've actually found no scientists credited by the way, they just Googled something like, I don't know, 
substances that the body needs to function or, or I don't know, something like that. And maybe just this big long list of endogenous antioxidants came up and they saw glutathione at the top because it's the most abundant in the body. And they were like, antioxidants, those are good, right? Let's run with that. And then they just developed this product, which is just basically, in my opinion, mouthwash. <laughs> Since glutathione is of such high importance to the body, they were like, let's make a supplement that has it. Oh wait, but pills already exist. Shakes have already been done. I know mouthwash. <laughs> Something that I think they're also doing here is kind of banking on the fact that the lay public doesn't understand the science and therefore won't question it. I actually think a lot of supplement companies do that. And personally, I think it's very exploitative to take advantage of people's ignorance like that. As of sitting down filming this video, I have not found any information released by the company that their technology, this hydrostat technology, nanotechnology is superior to like an oral supplement or even superior to the glutathione that I already have in my body. And also they they haven't cited any evidence or research that their product even works. Obviously there are pharmaceutical drugs that are absorbed through the skin and have different um, different uh, areas of absorption, different degrees of absorption. But my question here is how do they know it is actually getting absorbed in the mouth? They've cited no evidence to support that. I also think their attempt to cite science is hilariously feeble because they didn't even cite any specific studies that support the claims that their product works. They just linked the page of search results of studies that involve of glutathione. You can actually look on the search bar. I'll put it up again. They just typed in glutathione and then saw all these studies come up. I doubt they read through every single one, which I'm not gonna, I'm not talking crap for that. Obviously I didn't read through every single one, but it's pretty obvious that all they did was just type in glutathione and then they're like, oh, look at all these studies on it. So this is a studied thing. So let's cite the but they didn't cite any studies that support the claims that they're making or that support that their product works. Swing and a miss. Personally, I do not see this multi-level marketing company lasting very long. I could be wrong. Like I said, it is brand spanking new. Again, according to their LinkedIn, they were just born in 2021, very recent. Based on my research, they don't seem to be very established on social media, so um, We'll see. My personal assessment and opinion of this is I will stick to the glutathione that I already have in my body. If I ever find myself in a situation with a medical practitioner, actual medical professional, and the glutathione that my body is producing is not sufficient for me, is not sufficient to support my health, I'm gonna stick with working with my doctor. That's just me though. And also I will stick to Listerine for my mouthwash needs or the knockoff Listerine that I have in my bathroom right now. In conclusion, this is a very, very interesting MLM product. I feel like health and wellness MLMs, they just want to try and stay on top of the science and stay ahead of the science. And like everybody wants to have the next best thing. The hottest new trend in health and wellness. Shakes, wraps, pills, patches, that's all been done before. So I personally see Numi as just trying to seem unique in like just trying to make their science seem like it's legit without providing any evidence that it works. What did I name? I said we have shakes, we have pills, um, we have patches, now we have mouthwash. I feel like it's just a matter of time before either a supplement company or a multi-level marketing company comes out with the product that they think is all innovative and revolutionary and it turns out to just be like a suppository. <laughs> if in fact you made it to this point, comment mouthwash and confuse everybody who left early. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I think this is my first, no, it's not my first deep dive into like an MLM specific product because I have done, oh, well, it's only my second one though because I've done Thrive before, Thrive patches, specifically the patches. So these are few and far between, but I just thought this product just seemed so ridiculous to me. I was like, oh, I have to talk about this. Even if nobody's heard about this, I'm sure a lot of you probably haven't heard about it, honestly, but you know, hey, I'm here to spread the word. So, uh, you know, I hope you like this video. We'll see how this video does. Thank you very much again for watching. Like if you enjoyed this or you can dislike if you didn't enjoy it, but I do appreciate you watching till this point. Subscribe for more shenanigans and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hey, my husband took the dogs for some exercise. I bet you all are on the couch. That's what I think. I think you guys are all on the couch. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Alpha. Alpha. <laughs> you look like a little hippo, baby. You look like a little hippo. Wow, you guys are just so cute. You're exhausted.
because they had uh, they just had their exercise. Doesn't Zeus just look like royalty sitting up here, laying up here on his spot on the couch? And you onyx, you too. You're such a handsome silver fox. All right, who's anybody gonna say bye? Who wants to do the honors? What about you? You're looking like you got something to say. Say bye, Zeus. Say bye.